Yep, that is enough, I think. I should leave now. Well, if a shield character can go and heal, that's literally one of the best things that someone can go and ask for. Like, let's say, how much does she will go and heal? She heals 6,000. Okay, 6,000. Uh, 4.5. Uh, just because my Diona is C6, okay? If you don't have her C6, she's pretty much not going to heal 6,000. Instead, she's going to heal 4,000 if you have 33,000 HP with her with talent level 11. Now, how strong is Diona's shield? Like, I think that's the most important question for most of the people. I use her in a double Hydra team with Hu Tao. Okay, where you have Xing Cho and Yolan. And then you have Diona. And guess what happens to Diona? Because of the elemental resonance of Hydra, you get extra 25% max HP. And what the heck does that go and do? It increases her HP to 35,000. Look at that. That HP is 35,000. Let me show you a couple of things. All right. So we're here. Uh, the Gate of Doom is here. Like, um, this is like the most uh, nightmarish place for every single new player, whoever comes over here. Yeah, you wish you had Diona who can protect you. Well, Diona is not Zhongli. Zhongli is always better. But Zhongli is a five-star character, and I lost pity for him three times. I will stand over here because so that they can see me. Xingqiu's, Diona's, this. Now, that's a pretty strong shield, if you if you ask me. That only did very low amount of damage to my Huta. By the way, Xingqiu Rain Sword does give uh, additional uh, a couple of percent of damage reduction. Uh, that's how everybody's supposed to go and use Diona with Huta team. Listen, take your job seriously. Your job is to uh, make my character go low on HP real fast, okay? At least be successful in that. <laughs> Let me amuse myself a little. Um, I hope so. Now you've got me worked up. Oh, <gasps> she's serious now. Run. <laughs> All right, now it's time for Diona's real healing because her healing is like pretty awesome. Let's see. Up. Uh, six thousand two hundred. Okay, now not much. Six thousand two hundred. Six thousand two hundred. Ching Chou. Six thousand two hundred. Six thousand. Okay, never mind. Six thousand two hundred. And six thousand. No. Okay. So Xing Cho gobbled up one six thousand. Okay. So basically, your most of your teams are healed up. You have a strong shield that can last very long. So how do you go and build Diona? Okay. Most people would say, uh, increase her healing. No, you don't have to increase her healing. What you have to do is like make her shield very strong. Means like you definitely want to use two piece tenacity. And after that, you can give everything an energy recharge. Like I'm using two piece emblem of severed fate. I did had better artifacts. Like uh, this one only has fourteen percent HP. This this one had slightly higher HP, but uh, Noblesse is really not the way to go. I'm actually trying to switch to uh, two-piece tenacity and two-piece emblem of severed fate just because uh, uh, with having 35,000 HP, I also have about 190% energy recharge, which is more than enough for a character like Diona. And her shields are pretty decent when you put her with double hydra team. The next thing that I want to bring at in attention to you guys is that uh, let's say if you have C6 Diona, okay? She also gives 200 uh, elemental mastery to any character that has more than 50% HP. Uh, now we're going inside the domain of dendro characters now dendro characters are very much elemental mastery hungry with dendro teams especially with aggro teams and nobody else i don't know who else that she she would go and work really well with but i will check i will test that on my kitchen she's not particularly very strong but i have given her 100 percent crit rate uh, just in case to get one of the best results possible and uh, yeah she's pretty weak at the moment i haven't built her i i am waiting for her c1 if i don't get her c1 i pretty much would not go and use her uh, she only supports the on-field character let's say if i go and do my nada's burst my kitchen had 100 until mastery now she has 347 until mastery if i switch back to my official then my uh kitchen lost her own mastery okay let's do her burst and let's make my kitchen a stand in that diana also gave kitchen 200 on mastery if i go and switch to my official after a couple of seconds she will lose her elemental mastery so it only affects the on-field character for most of the part yeah just like nahida it, it was worth mentioning because i was i actually thought that diona is going to be very good with the hyper bloom teams but only because of this reason i uh she's only good with aggravate teams so 9,200 without any sort of buff, yeah. Oh, no, 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 I had to do this first. Uh, 11,600, yeah, so we're, we're, we're looking at 450 elemental mastery increased on my uh, kitchen. Yeah, from 100 to 553, that's, uh, wait, 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 that's a lot of elemental mastery for just uh, Diona and Nahida, yeah, so I think, like, that's pretty fantastic. It's not a huge increase in damage, but if you're playing inside a domain, I think, like, 2,500 uh, damage uh, increase is pretty decent amount, yeah. 
I mean, it was worth mentioning because something that you can do with Diona if you end up getting her C6. So your, your C6 is not going to be in vain if you do decide to get her C6. Also, it increases her healing by quite a bit. Now, out of all the shield characters in Genshin Impact, Diona is pretty much going to be my number one pick. Or we have Toma, who's absolutely insane in Virgin teams. I just love this guy in Virgin and Ayaka Melt team that I just made. I made a video just before that one where I used Toma with Ayaka. If you want to know that, definitely go check that out. In terms of Noel, she's not a shield character and a healer. She's a deep DPS character who does more damage than Arataki Ito. Yeah, all by herself. Yup, I'm very serious. She's a freaking god tier battle maid. If you somehow end up getting her constellation 6, I promise you, you, you will not look at any other DPS in Genshin Impact in your life again because she's just so much boring to play. In terms of that, I don't think she's that bad, but just for shield and a shield that is not going to be as strong as Zhongli's shield, I just don't need a character. I do want more than just shield. And Diona's shield is just strong enough. Strong enough for majority of the things that you're going to go and do. The least constellation that you need for her is constellation 1, okay? After constellation 1, one, sacrificial bow is absolutely must next one i will pretty much go and make video for my uh, sucrose because uh, she's one of the most unique character in genshin impact and she needs a little bit of attention from me okay and i will deliver it to you don't worry about that i promise you're gonna love her video so yeah that's that's pretty much it for the video guys